right, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Sean Wood. I'm with University Communications. And we are excited you could all join us for this uh, tremendous honor today that the university is going to receive from our partners, Rocky Mountain Power. So we are going to be uh, hearing remarks from Senior Vice President Dan Reed, and then Kathy Anderson, our Chief uh, Finance Officer, and then William Como, with, uh, who's the VP of Customer Experience and Innovation with Rocky Mountain Power. So Dan, do you want to come up? Thanks, Sean. Appreciate that. As uh, Sean said, I'm Dan Reed. I'm the Senior VP for Academic Affairs here at the U. And it's really my extraordinary pleasure to be with you today and to celebrate what has been and continues to be a long-term campaign here on campus to be wiser about our use of increasingly precious existing resources and to plan for a more sustainable future. Our facilities team, and many of you here today, and I can't say enough thank yous uh, to you, are here to celebrate this, this milestone accomplishment. We're on the forefront of this effort. I'm really proud of what the U has done, and I want to thank you especially for the incredible work that's been done over the past year to achieve this reduction in use and corresponding savings, which we'll be able to use to reinvest in future sustainability efforts. Together, and this is an amazing number, we've saved over 13 million kilowatt hours, which adds up to nearly $1.6 million in savings. And Chief Financial Officer Kathy Anderson will detail that a little more in a moment, but that's really an extraordinary thing. But I thought I would start by really talking a little bit about the broad-based uh, leadership across the university and our long-term commitment to sustainability of which this is a part. You know, I have the pleasure, and I do mean pleasure, of working with our Chief Sustainability Officer, Carrie Case. Where's Carrie? Right there on the front row. Uh, and her team. You know, our efforts to be more careful with resources that we use on this campus have been progressively woven into the DNA of the campus uh, and under the guidance of our facilities and our sustainability leaders. Each year, with successive master plans and guiding documents, uh, these cement our commitment uh, and integration on in our culture to make sustainability uh, core of what we do. In 2007, we created this sustainability office, and it works to create a holistic view of sustainability efforts on campus. So facilities, education, research, they're all deeply connected as part of our mission uh, to integrate it as a core part of what we do. And the sustainability office uh, staff really take that to heart to support initiatives that cultivate the campus as what we view as a living laboratory, a place where we can do experiments uh, and invent the future. And we've been at this for a while. In 2010, then President Michael Young, you can find his picture out there in the hallway, uh, signed uh, the Climate Action Plan and then later, President Ruth Watkins joined the, the President's Climate Leadership Commitments, the U.S. President's Climate Leadership Commitments, and the University Climate Change Coalition, UC3. Our Strategy 2025 plan includes critical benchmarks that will help us reach these goals and these commitments. And so, for example, there are a lot of strategies in the 2020 Climate Action Plan that have now been implemented. Among them, minimum energy efficiency standards were established to require a LEED silver rating or higher for new construction and major renovations. Increased focus on renovation of old and inefficient buildings, replacement of antiquated technologies, and improved space utilization. And in addition, significant expansion of utility metering uh, has led to performance benchmarking across the full university portfolio. Building automation has been deeply integrated with analytic tools 
uh, to help us monitor and commission across hundreds of mechanical systems. And as I said, this is a, uh, a continuous improvement process that combines research, student education, and what um, many of you are doing in facilities. These guiding principles, the regular reinvestment of achieved savings, including that of this WattSmart Business Partner of the Year Award, they continue to influence our decisions about physical facilities and about meaningful progress. This is a collaborative effort, an institutional commitment, and something that has seen real and sustained progress over the last 15 years, thanks to the effort of those of you in this room. And now I'll turn the floor over to CFO Kathy Anderson to talk about some of the details of this year's achievements. So Kathy. Thank you, Dan, and hello, and thank you all for being here for this milestone. It's due to your hard work that we are here today. Here are just a few of the highlights. As Senior Vice President Reed mentioned, we saved more than 13 million kilowatt hours. That is the calculated energy savings from Rocky Mountain Power's incentive measure. It's enough to power 1,528 homes per year. That adds up to nearly 1.6 million in incentive savings received from Rocky Mountain Power. In addition to the energy and cost savings, the efficiency work is making lasting air quality improvements in our community in the form of reduced emissions. These achievements would not have been possible without a 1U ethos and active participation across campus. A total of 58 projects were completed in 2020, including projects in student housing, School of Medicine, College of Law, Pioneer Theater, College of Humanities, Fort Douglas, Marriott Library, and the Natural History Museum. This, cri these, this critical teams involved many of you here today, and they include facility sustainability and energy team, core engineering, project management, plant operations, hospitals and clinics, and the Huntsman Cancer Hospital. I want to thank Robin Burr, Chief Facilities Officer, who guides many of these groups on campus. And I'd particularly like to thank our two sustainability project coordinators, Bill Leach from Maine Campus and Robert Armstrong from U of U Health Hospitals and Clinics. Bill and Robert ensure that project teams are kept aware of energy efficiency technologies and methods. I also want to thank Chris Benson and his team in the Energy Management Office. They ensure and they promote maximum energy efficiency at the university and have been instrumental to our success. The relationships built over time and the expertise shared benefit our campus coordinators, their teams, university project manager, and Rocky Mountain Power are making long lasting and, co and compounding impacts on campus. Let's give ourselves a hand. The good news is these incentives will be used to fund additional improvement projects. A large portion of the university's incentive dollars goes into the university's revolving sustainability fund. This is managed by facilities, but originally championed by students beginning back in 2003. We use this loan fund to leverage projects by covering upfront project costs and reinvesting funds into more improvement projects and on an annual basis. This accelerates the use char charges towards carbon neutrality and pays the university's bottom line back with the act achieved energy cost savings. This continual cycle will play an important role in helping us to achieve the university's goal of carbon neutrality by 2050. 
I would be remiss if I didn't mention the engineering support provided by Rocky Mountain Power. Independent third-party engineering firms like KW Engineering are contracted with by Rocky Mountain Power to provide engineering support for the university. This support on the front of engineering of energy efficiency comes free of charge and the university to the university and allows for the exploration of possible incentive opportunities without adding to the workload of the U's internal engineering staff. KW Engineering's support team makes suggestions and provides guidance as the university project team explores possible courses of action. I can honestly say we would not have been able to accomplish all that we have been able to do without the support and input of our partners at Rocky Mountain Power. So thank you. And thank you to all of you that are part of this and will be an ongoing part as we continue this work on campus. Great things happen with great partnerships. All I can say, you guys, you guys heard it all, those great results just within the past year. Um, the University of Utah began participating in the Watt Smart Business Program over 20 years ago and has been a terrific partner and leading the way and helping us help other customers just by showing, by leading by example. Um, going back over those 20 years, these University of Utah energy efficiency efforts have translated into savings of well over $1 million annually in energy savings costs. At this point, I'd like to ask Dr. Reed and Kathy Anderson to join me up here. Great. I am proud to present the Watt Smart Partner of the Year Award to the University of Utah and look forward to growing our partnership in the future. Do you mind joining us over here, Kathy? That's the end of our formal presentation. Thank you all for coming out and joining us again. Uh, we want to give a special thanks to Sam, who is our volunteer riding the bike. If you haven't checked it out, uh, he is producing just a fraction of the energy that we've saved so far. And if anybody wants to give it a go, uh, kick him off and jump on the bike yourself. So thanks for coming. Have a good day. <laughs>